Yes. It is Wednesday, and it is my favorite time of day. <clears throat> Long day at the office, <clears throat> doing the good work of the people. And now I get to wind down. And today it is with a Chianti. And it's not just any Chianti, as a matter of fact, it's any Chianti. It's literally a generic brand that just says Chianti. I got it here across the street at the Nachauf, which is kind of like the, the near store or something like that. <clears throat> and um, yeah, that's, uh, it's pretty good. It's, uh, it's dry, it's floral, and uh, really clean. And about an equal mixture of acids and tannins. I mean, you can't really ask for more than that. Beautiful bouquet. Uh, a lot of red tree fruit. Um, and again, I'm not sure if this is vanilla or tobacco, but I'm loving it. So go figure. You know, I don't really think you can buy a bad glass of wine in Europe. I mean, I'm just convinced of it. These people invented wine for all intents and purposes, and they're pretty good at it, along with meat and cheese and stuff like that, too. But hey, let's jump into our grid. So we've got um, Wednesday, April 10th, uh, the 24th year of the second millennium in our common era. And this is a Bill Thompson grid, and it's edited by Joel Faliano. So let's go ahead and hop on in here and see what we can, uh, <clears throat> what we can scare up today. Got ourselves a Wednesday grid. Let's do it. Okay. Response to have a nice day. Well, you too. You too. Cribs. I'm thinking pads maybe. Well, can't be fat fingering things. <clears throat> a spell that's broken by a 23 across. First U.S. Secretary of War. Well, that was Henry Knox. That I know. Um, as a matter of fact, you go right over there. Uh, right there. That diploma is from Fort Knox. It was from the Armor Officer Basic course. I really enjoyed my time at Fort Knox. So let's go back over here now. <clears throat> 14 Alpha, hit song from Flashdance. Huh. Org, often referred to by its first letter. I'm assuming this is the YMCA because we always call it the Y. Uh, hit song, island that's home to a state capital. That would be Oahu. La Cajofo. Um, what Mac OS is based on, and that's the Unix. <clears throat> Um, let's see. Well, a hit song from Flashdance is probably Maniac. Maniac, Maniac. Game piece. Popular Italian entree. Cabinet material, maybe oak. Loads looks like oceans. Now, <clears throat> I guess a game piece would be tick versus tack or toe. So, and this makes this look a lot like chicken parma because it did say informally. So, let's see, chicken parm. <clears throat> Father and regional lingo, maybe pappy. Um, a walk in the park, perhaps. And be afraid to. I'm thinking this is probably dare not. Dare not. Dare not. Now, a traditional crustless fruit pie. I think this is an apple. This is a pea. Iconic fundraising thank you gift. Oh, if I had a nickel for every one of these I have or have had, including totes from the New Yorker. Semioticians' interest. Well, they're interested in symbols. <clears throat> so. Oops, didn't mean to knock that out of the park. Sorry. Okay, PC programming file extension is exe. Uh, fatty acid compound. Uh, well, that's uh, oleate. Really heavily prevalent in um, olive oil. <clears throat> in a bi-coastal relationship, say, maybe apart. 
when doubled beanie topper. Don't know quite sure what that's yet, but I think this is a part. Could be a part. Uh, Linzer pastry. That's a Linzer tort. Linzer tort. Heroines and novels by Flaubert and uh, Austin. Well, I think we're talking about when double beanie topper. So maybe a pom pom. I think these are Emmas because. <clears throat> You have Emma from uh, Jane Austen, the <clears throat> actually the title character of that book, and then we've got uh, Emma Bovary, uh, Charles Bovary's wife that spent him to death. Okay, spell that's broken by a seventeen across chicken parm. Dear in Italian, well. <clears throat> Amato would be one letter too short. So I think you're talking about either caro or cara. And I don't know if it's the A or the O, depending on if it's masculine or feminine. But let's see what we got here. Container and a kid's backpack. Don't know. The Cardiff Giant for one. Well, that was a hoax. It was a big hoax. Big hoax, people. Big, big hoax. Big hoax. Big hoax. Let's see, fees that may be based on cost per click. I think these are ad rates now. Now what do I got here? So I still don't know if that's, but this looks like it could be a box. Winner over the Yanks in 2001 World Series. I don't know what could be the D. It says the Yanks, so I guess that would be the Arizona Diamondbacks, D-backs? Because I think this is in Cairo, and then this makes us a box of some sort, like not a lunch box. That would be too short, but some sort of box. Anyway, let's get back up here and get on track. <clears throat> Spell that's broken by Henry Knox. Recipe verb. Place for a tiny hammer. Well, I'm no otorhinolaryngologist. That is an ear, nose, and throat provider specialist but i do believe a tiny hammer belongs in our ear and let's see al jolson's actual first name is actually asa and recipe verb it's probably gonna be the heat maybe because i know it could, it could be beat let's see what we got here if this well uh, first of all let me spell this correctly uh, let's see, spell that's broken by a Henry Knox. Where runway nine is always oriented at an airport. Okay, well that's going to be east. And just to give you a heads up on that, a, a regular compass has 360 different, uh, you know, degrees, right? You know, and so uh, you could say 36 sub directions, right? You know, and so what you do is depending on, on which, uh, on which direction you're flying, so where it says runway nine here is actually the opposite to 27 runway 27 and those would be east west east west runners and so if you're heading to nine you're heading to nine zero so 90 degrees that's easterly so if you're gonna be landing at an easterly fashion you're coming from the west you're looking for runway nine if you're coming the opposite direction you'd be looking for run runway 27 and so on and so forth so, uh, <clears throat> it's always the direction that you're flying. And let's see, whiskey, blank, Yankee. Okay, this is the phonetic alphabet, so this is x-ray. So what do I got here, down here? Okay, Apple Betty, and I guess a hex. Spell that's broken by 23 across. Got H-E, and then all of this is out with an X. I don't know, I don't know what I'm looking at here. NPR note, NPR tote. I can just I look at just see how many times I've fat finger crap. Atatualpa's uh, subjects. Okay, he was the emperor. Um, he's the Incan emperor. So those are Incas and communicate silently in a way. This looks bad for me. Maybe I'm toast. And beginner gamers and lingo. I guess noobs. I used to have a habit of putting it in E-W-B-S, but apparently that's not right. 
Gently acclimate within, so ease in. Canterbury cooktops are hubs. And crooner Mel, Torme, and communicate silently in a way. Spell that's broken by 59 across. Intensive study, uh, I don't know. So maybe this is gonna be a curse. Device first employed in the United States by Chemical Bank in 1969. Looks like it's going to be an ATM. And this feels like this is going to be a mouth. And so, Shepard, formerly of The View. That's Sherry. I think it's an I at the end, but I'm not sure. Actress Palmer with a reduplicative name is Kiki Palmer. But gosh, well, I'm having one of those days. It's just been a long one. Kiln for hops, oast, and... Fine and dandy. Looks like it's going to be a okay. Uh, play date participant will be a tot, maybe. And Ninja's Fort is stealth. I do not say forte. I say fort. Forte is musical instruction. Tack measure. Revolutions per minute. RPM. So, uh, flinches or smiles. Container in a kid's backpack looks like it might be a pencil box. Okay, that's fine. Flinches or smiles, reacts. 1965 film starring George Seagal that was set in a POW camp. I watched this a million times when I was a kid. Gosh, I love this movie. This is King Rat. Let's see if I can keep from fat fingering it to death here. Uh, stop, maybe cease. These are lining up nicely down here, like crown jewels. Don't know. Crayola color that debuted in the year I was born. And that would be hot magenta. Every artist knows these things. Mess up is to air. Sheltered side is typically a lee. The lee side of a lake, for example, where the ducks might go because the hunters are on the other side. Spell that's broken by... I have no idea. Hmm. Give a boost, maybe help. A popular name for Tuxedo Cat. I bet that's Oreo, though I don't know for sure. Prehistoric Predator, formerly looks like a T Rex. And so this is Pox. So the first letter, and then the last two. First letter, last two. Oh, okay, well, maybe that's it. So the spell that's broken. So, it's bro okay, got it. So it's all coming together. Intensive study program. Well, this would be a crash course, maybe. And uh, shock and away tase. Don't tase me, bro. <clears throat> Not delete. In other words, leave it in. Stet, editor's marks. Word derived from the Arabic for lot. Well, uh, how John D. Rockefeller made his money is in, of course, oil. So this tells me here that what we've got is kismet, but I think it, the Arabic was kisma, and the Arabic was kismet, where we get the term for your lot in life, your luck, your fate. Uh, letters on a forever stamp, USA. USA. So I think we're talking about Kismet here and killed it at open mic night, maybe slayed. And gee, I wish I was back in the blank. So White Christmas, that was in the army. I said me never. Mm -hmm, I see. And uh, no longer working. Abbreviation is retired. Make public air. So I mean, you seriously, uh, let's turn this on, make sure. Guy, if we're going to have any sound. First of all, it'll be a horrible delay, but if we're going to have any sound, we might as well have some sound. So, um, how do we do, Bob? All right, not bad, not bad. It was a clever, clever puzzle. Not a terrible Wednesday by any stretch. Um, I've seen them much more complicated in the past and sometimes just as easy, if not more easy. So, you just, you never know what you're going to get when you're going to get it. So, just take it. Call it Kismet. Mm. That is a wonderful Chianti, even if it is a generic one. So, as always, uh, learn how to say goodbye to people in every language you can, and subsequently, by extension, proclamation, and 
perhaps even proxy, you might want to learn how to say hello as well. But uh, with that, we'll just say au revoir, arrivederci, auf Wiedersehen, tschüss, servus, ciao, um, shalom, aloha, anyang hiaseo, maslamati, and tambiet. Have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, whatever part of the planet you're on. And uh, we'll see you for the Thursday puzzle tomorrow. Um, just be kind to one another. It's not that hard to do. Be careful. Be well. Be good. <laughs>